The country's top court exhibiting the image of justice as idealized, dignified and beyond reproach is NASA leader Raila Odinga's last shot and he has until midnight Friday to file his challenge of the results of last week Tuesday's election. The filing will trigger a cascade of activities. Okay, the, the registry usually will check that all the required documents are, are, are in order. The petition itself, um, the verifying affidavits, the supporting affidavits, together with the documents that, that are supporting that claim. So all those have to be there. They have to also pay the court fees, uh, a minimum of 1.5 million. The court fees is 500,000. The one million is really security for costs. NASA will have two days to serve the respondents. They may do so directly or by an advert in a newspaper with the national coverage. They'll also need to serve the respondents electronically within six hours of filing the case. After being served, the respondents have four days within which to file their responses. Of course, the petition comes with uh, supporting affidavits with all the documents that uh, the parties will be relying on in terms of supporting their respective cases. Um, one of the things that has been introduced under the Supreme Court rules this time round is that after the sixth day, on the seventh day, um, the court will have an opportunity to deal with any interlocutory applications that might come in. And then on the eighth day, now the judges will have to retreat into a conference. And in the conference, some of the things they'll be able to determine is for example, how much time should they give both parties to address the court within the time limits that they have, um, what kind of um, just basically procedural issues in readiness for the hearing that begins immediately after the conference. So we anticipate that to be from the ninth day. The 14-day period within which the petition should be heard and a decision made includes weekends. The court may uphold the election of President Kenyatta or declare it invalid and order fresh elections, which must be held within 60 days after the ruling. The bench may also, like it did in 2013, give its decision but reserve its reasons for that decision until later, but no later than 14 days. The NASA coalition says it will rely on what it has described as shamelessly cooked presidential results some of them from non-existent polling stations and ungazetted presiding and returning officers to make their case. The decision to lay this evidence before the world, NASA says, is to give the Supreme Court a second chance. The Supreme Court will be sitting for a second time over a similar matter, a familiar scene but from a new vantage point. Politicians will always uh, say what they have to say, but the judiciary is guided by the rule of law. It's guided by evidence and the law. Therefore, um, we will not be overly preoccupied by what's happening out there. This is the sixth presidential election petition in the country's history and will perhaps be the most watched as it offers NASA leader Raila Odinga's only chance at the presidency that he says has been stolen from him more than once. Sheila Sendeo, NTV, and the Supreme Court, Nairobi.